Hello, wonderful people. Welcome to my video today. I'm so excited to bring you this video, which I promised in my last video. I promised to show you more about my solar system setup. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how much it cost me to set up my solar system two years ago. Now here is my solar system setup. It's um, actually a small one. From the screen, you can see the components I have here. I have uh, solar cables, about two of them each of 20 feet or 6 meters then I have the charge controller which is the maximum power point tracking the 30 amps and the maximum power it can take from the solar panel is 390 watts the next one on the item is the solar panel which is the 250 watts and the monocrystal line. We have uh, basically two common uh, solar panels the monocrystal line and the polycrystal line. The mono is made up of one component, while the poly is made up of more than one component. But I prefer the monocrystal line because it is better and is more expensive. I got two of them, the 250 watts and the 130 watts. The next on the list is my inverter, which is a 1.5 kVA or simply 1500 watts. Pure sine wave. Pure sine wave means the current generated or the output power is a clean one and is uh, free from um wavy or shaky kind of current now the last thing here i have is just one battery bank and it's a 200 amp power battery so let me take you to the components where we'll be doing our computation now i'm going to provide this excel sheet somewhere below where you can download it so check around. You can use this sheet if you want to uh, follow along with what, what I'm going to do today. Now, apart from the components, which you can see on this side, then I have this here, which is the price of dollar to my own local currency, Naira, in 2016. I went online. And I did a little uh, search, December, um, no, December 2016, the dollar was around 3.12. I'm going to make use of this, 3.12. That is the price of dollar um, in uh, 2016. So here, he said, the price of dollar to Naira. So in this cell, I'm going to put 312 and I hit enter on my keyboard. All right, so that's that. So um, I move ahead. Here is uh, my solar cables. It's time to go show you how much the solar cables each cost. And here is the cables. You can see this is 20 feet flexible. And um, one of them costs this. So I'm going to copy that. Go back to my cell sheet. Here it says cable price. So I'm going to paste it here. Now, in my own case, 
I got two of these cables. If I go up somewhere, though I can't find it right now, but I actually, okay, here is the second one. Here is the second one. So this one and the one below here. So what I'm going to do is this. Quantity of cables is two. So I'm going to impute two here. And I say enter. And that gives me the total price in dollars for the cable. And also gives me the price of that in my local currency, which is the Naira. And that we are okay with the price of solar cable. So the solar cable cost me $25 to, uh, to buy. So we're done with this. Now, the next item here is what the charge controller. So I go back to my account on AliExpress. I got this. And as you can see here, this is my charge controller. Now, it's my interest to know that this charge controller costs $80, $50. So I copy that, go back to my exec sheet. Now, here, I'm going to input my uh, price in dollars that price that the, the price I got the charge controller is in dollars so I'm gonna paste it here and uh, this is the Naira equivalent is computed for me okay I can come here and I impute the figure by typing I will say 80.50 say Eighty enter and uh, that is cool. So my charge controller cost eighty dollars fifty cent and also twenty five thousand in naira. All right. Now the next component here, which is the solar panel and the two hundred fifty watts. I paid for this, not in dollars, but in Naira. And uh, as at that time, it cost me 75,000 Naira. And that is equivalent to $240 and some cent. Okay, I'm done with that. Then I move down to the 130 Watt solar panel which I also paid in Naira and uh, that cost me 35,000 Naira and here is the equivalent here um, it's time to impute that of an inverter so I go back to AliExpress I just want to bring to your notice these um, two here and this were those items I actually bought in dollars. So I go back to my account. I locate my inverter. And here is my pure sine wave inverter 1500. And um, this was the price then. Two three nine point nine eight. So I come back here two three nine point nine eight. Say enter, and uh, this is the equivalent in Naira. Okay, now the last on the list here, which is the battery that I paid in Naira and that was uh, 95,000 Naira Wow Can you see this? Here is the total everything I spent in dollars and this is equivalent in Naira So as you can see from this computation it cost me 
either this or this to set up this uh, system you're seeing here. Now, someone there can be saying, wow, this is too expensive. But we're going to find out in my future videos because I'm going to explain and show you how much I spend every month on gas and uh, um, power bill. I'm going to do some little calculations here and come to a conclusion on whether it's an investment to invest in solar or the other way around. So as you can see, I got this item and this from AliExpress. But uh, there are other places where you can get this component. You can also get them from uh, Amazon or local store near you. It all depends on your location. I'm going to put a link in the description in case you want to check out some of these components and where you can get them. Now, in my next video, I'm going to show you how much I usually spend on power bill and gas before I build this system. I'll thank you once again for joining me on this video. See you in my next video and have a very nice day.